The battle was significant for Scotland because of the amount of Scottish forces that actually took part in the battle. When you look at the 120 battalions that took part in the Battle of Arras, 44 of those were from Scottish battalions. It's fair to say that there was very little area of Scotland or the Scottish community that was left untouched by their involvement. So my uncle was Private Donald Gunn Mackay. He was born in 1885 and he enlisted in the 15th Battalion of the Royal Scots. And my understanding is that he served first of all in Egypt and then he was sent over to France and fought in the Battle of Arras. He died on the 28th of April, 1917. This is the last letter that Donald wrote home to his father on the 19th of April, 1917. His last letter of home comes to me as being quite a typical letter that the um, young men wrote. He talks about that he had been in the first part of the battle, come out behind the line. He always talks about his feet being very sore and not being able to get his boots on, but he got another pair. And this letter here is the letter that his father wrote to the War Office. And before the war, Donald liked to play football, and this is him in the team at the St Giles Football Club. There'll be two areas that the commemorations will take place. One is in the town of Arras in France, and the second will be the Scottish element, which will take place in Edinburgh. Uniquely, what we're going to do is we're going to transmit that service live from the Scottish National War Memorial onto a large screen on Edinburgh Castle Esplanade. So we're encouraging people who are in Edinburgh that evening or would like to visit especially for the Battle of Arras commemoration know that they can take part and pay their respects from Edinburgh Castle Esplanade. Following the service, now, there'll be two beating retreats take place, one in Place de Horace in France and one on Edinburgh Castle Esplanade, all happening at the same time. Not everybody will be able to make it over to France that day, uh, but this is a more local one in the centre of Scotland uh, that gives the opportunity for those that cannot travel so far to actually come to Edinburgh that evening and actually pay their respects you know, to those that uh, lost their lives, uh, but equally important to remember those that have suffered life-changing injuries as a part of that battle.